After our workflow is done, any residual content from our build is lost. We want to save that content as formal build artifacts that we can hand off between various jobs as part of a more sophisticated workflow. Let's walk through a scenario where we upload a build artifact. We have the results of our build where we built project assets and we've created a lot of static pages and content, but again, they're lost when our build agent is disposed. This is something that we really want to keep so that maybe if we want to review the results of a build, we could, or if we wanted to um, use this in a subsequent job, we could. So we need to implement a step where we take this and we upload this into a artifact. So we're going to go to github.com slash actions, which is our actions organization. And we're going to try and create a build artifact. So we're going to look for any type of first party um, action that allows us to create an artifact. Where there already seems to be one, it's called Upload Artifact. That's going to be seen when seems to be the winner for us. So we are going to use the Actions Upload Artifact V3. That takes in two parameters, the name of the artifact and the path to either the individual file, entire directory, or wildcard pattern. So for us, um, directory seems to work perfectly fine. So we're going to go to our YAML file and we're going to implement this. So we're going to create a new step named upload static site content. And we are going to use the uses keyword. And here we're going to put in actions for the actions organization, upload hyphen artifact for the upload hyphen artifact uh, repository or that action and at V3 for the version. And that, um, if you're not familiar, is a branch. Now we have the with keyword for properties. We're going to have the static site, which is going to be the name of our artifact, and then the path, which what path we want to upload. Now, we know from looking at the metadata here on the build that the build directory is .next. We can also validate that by looking at Visual Studio Code and seeing that it built our content into the .next folder. So we'll save this. We'll create a new commit called upload build artifacts. Commit that, sync our changes to our remote repository. We will go up to GitHub Actions, check out, check out Upload Build Artifacts. We'll wait for an agent with Ubuntu Latest and let it run through the rest of the steps where we'll install our dependencies, build our project out, and then upload our static site content. So there we go, it's building out the Next.js project. And then it's gonna take all 154 files and upload them as an artifact named static hyphen site. So once it's done, if we go to summary, you'll see it'll take about 30 something seconds. We'll have a new artifact called static site. It's about eight megabytes. And if I click on this, I'll be able to download the zip file containing all the contents for this artifact.